Hi everybody, it is the 13th of July 2021 and Daisy Update 1.13 is downloading right now for PC and console as I record this video. So let's go through the blog posts from Adam, the lead developer behind Daisy, and then let's go through the change notes as well so we can see some quite, um, some quite good uh, if not great changes that we're seeing coming to Daisy with this very, very important update. So here we go. Hello, survivors. We're excited to announce that game update 1.13 has been released on all platforms. Before we dive into the contents of the update, we'd like to take a moment to thank everyone on PC and Xbox for participating in the experimental phase. If you're interested in a detailed rundown of the changes you, we made, head on over to the changelog forum post. And if you encounter any issues, we'd love it if you let us know via the feedback tracker. Now let's take a look at what's been changed and added, and we will be looking at that after I've gone through this blog post here. We are introducing the legendary M16A2 assault rifle together with its iconic three-round burst mode. This rifle accepts standard 5.56 by 45 mm NATO, and is compatible with most M4A1 magazines. Due to lack of an attachment rail, its customizability options are very limited, which means it's easier to find in the world than the M4A1. So basically you can't put a scope on this baby. You can put the suppressor on, you can put the big mags on it, but yeah, you've just left with the iron sights for now. We also have some new weapon attachments. The first is a brand new ATOG 6x48 optic which just like its smaller version is compatible with any western rifle with an attachment rail this is going to be a new favorite toy for any pioneer snipers out there yeah so um do they show you it so that's it there so it's got the red dot on the top and then it's got the eight times underneath um, very good very call of duty like um, or battlefield like as well very good we next we have two new magazines a 45 round for the KA-74 and an actual 60 round standardized magazine for 5.56 by 45s which replaces the standardized culp coupled 30 round magazine oh that's interesting so they're getting rid of the coupled one hmm I bet it'll, bet it'll still be in the game files though so we should still be able to spawn it in should we wish to now let's talk about the changes to player versus player combat. We've changed the way the unconscious state works during firearm combat, making its length dependent on which caliber is used to knock down a target. So it depends which bullet you hit with. There were also a number of changes made to player damage zones, which will reduce the chances of a double punishment in the form of falling unconscious and breaking a leg, as well as seemingly invincible arms and shoulders when wearing a ballistic vest. Speaking of vests, we have reduced the strength of police and plate carrier vests. The plate carrier vest is also less durable and all of the ballistic vests have higher repair kit consumption. We have also further iterated on the infected AI. One of the biggest changes is making the individual infected more distinct in their abilities by adding new types of infected and scaling the infected difficulty with the player's overall progression through the game world. Other changes to the infected AI include a stealth approach is now more viable because of increased noise dampening, lesser ability of infected to hear noise through obstacles and lowered noise from a player's crouch sprint. So what you're going to want to be doing is you're going to be wanting to be wearing trainers, not boots, and you're going to be want, to be want to be crouch walking, coming up behind a zombie with a knife, and then you can, you can melee kill them from behind with one kill. Um, Infected are now attracted by smoke grenades, flare gun flares, fireplaces and explosions. Infected are now more likely to leave the position of unconscious players, thus preventing the frustrating waking up unconscious loop. All infective attacks are now blockable and overall infected attack speed has been reduced, but not down to 1.11 levels. So when you block now, when you pull back on console or walk backwards on PC, you'll, you'll block all of their attacks from the front. Which is cool because the infected are because you can't one hit kill them from the front now with an axe you know they're much more difficult to deal with um okay before we go on to this so they kind of skimmed over it so when they said about there's different ai so what that what there are is going to be now is there's there's a they call it a screamer zombie um and it's not like in um state of decay or uh, <laughs> um left for dead where you've got a screamer sort of yelling out 
continuously. What this just means is that there's uh, there's a zombie, I think it is the officer zombie as well, who will shout like the zombies do more often to attract other zombies in. So whenever whenever a zombie aggros and starts going, Arr! that's when it can attract other zombies from, from nearby to attack you as well. And this, this zombie will do that more often. Also, you've ne we've now got heavy zombies. Um, and the heavy zombies, you'll, you'll be able to notice because they will have uh, ballistic vests on them. So they're much diff more difficult to kill. And also you'll, you'll have runner zombies. Now the runner zombies just run all of the time. So it looks like they've been aggroed, but it also means that they never stop running. So if a runner zombie starts chasing you, it will it will not stop chasing you. It will never stop running after you until you can um, kill it. Now, maybe if you can get out of its sight, you know, run for a building, close a door, go through that sort of thing, then, then you'll be okay. But I think we're really seeing the vision of Adam um, with taking Daisy to, to, to more of a zombie survival game. He's putting the Z back in Daisy. Um, by uh, by making the zombies a lot more difficult and a lot more dangerous to deal with. And last but certainly not least, we're introducing the chance for wounds to get infected. This means that from now on you should always keep an eye on which item you use to treat wounds. We've added a new label on the items displaying their disinfected state, which allows you to quickly recognise which items are safe and which are not. Damaging disinfected items removes the state and requires applying disinfectant again. If a wound gets infected, the infection is spread over two stages. The first can be treated by disinfecting the wound, or the second is more punished and needs to be treated with antibiotics. The second stage also includes a new fever condition which is triggered during, triggered during influenza. So, what's going to happen now is that when you pick up bandages or you make rags, you need to check whether they're disinfected, and it looks like none of them will be disinfected to start off with, and this looks like it includes bandages as well. So it will make... Um, make it really important to have things like the alcoholic tincture um, and there's a new thing iodine I think they're, they're bringing now as well so these things where you can disinfect your bandages dis disinfect your rags um, and then when you use them when, when you get, get, get a um, get a bleed you then won't get wound infection now Wobo's done a really good video about this um, but basically what can happen is if you get a bleed I mean I didn't know this could happen anyway but if you get a bleed bleeds after five minutes he'll automatically if you haven't died but if you do that you'll automatically get wound infection so what you need to do is when you're in the first stage of wound infection which lasts a while if you use iodine or the uh, I think it's the alcoholic tincture on your wounds that will reduce that will take away your wound infection if it actually moves on to septicemia so where you've got a blood infection then you need to start taking a whole load of antibiotics I think um, in his video Robo says you need to take four antibiotics, you know, one after the other to, to kind of get rid of it and your character starts sweating and you're losing loads of water and you're wiping your brow all the time. So now it's going to be very, very important to, to go to those uh, medic places and get that alcoholic tincture and get that iodine um, because, um, yeah, if you get, get attacked by a zombie and you start bleeding and you treat yourself with a, a dirty rag or a rag that isn't infected, isn't disinfected, sorry, um, you know you, you're gonna you're gonna die we hope you are going to enjoy this update we wish you safe adventure and hope you'll listen carefully over the summer because a storm is coming Ooh, is there anything more frightening than people Svetlana Alexvich on behalf of the Daisy team Adam so great so that's a good taster of what's coming along so next let's look at the detailed patch notes from 1.13 added the m16a2 rifle um, added the burst fire mode on the M16A2, ATOG 6x scope, and that's the one with the red dot on the top, the 45 round KA74 magazine, the 60 round standardized magazine, that's for the M4 and the M16. Wound treated by unclean rags can get infected. The disinfected state is now highlighted in the item tooltip, so that on console, that's when you go over the top. Added sounds when the character is starving. Oh, that should be interesting. Oh, I'm hungry. Fever symptom added to influenza. So what happens then is you, your character wipes their brow. They just keep wiping their brow. Added radial blur to the hit effect. Iodine tincture. So that's the stuff that you can disinfect wounds with. Maybe you can disinfect bandages with as well. Crude machete. The oriental machete. No pause options. Oh, okay. So you can remove the option to pause. You can't really pause Daisy anyway, can you? 
I'm not sure what that means. Infected are now attracted by smoke grenades, flare gun flares, and fireplaces during night time. New special infected types. Yeah, heavy soldier, military officer, runner, and heavy police. So the heavy soldiers, that's the soldier who's got more health, who's wearing a, um, a ballistic vest most of the time. The military officer, that's the one that shouts more often. The runner is the one that keeps running all the time. Oh, one thing I forgot to say about the runners is that if you're looking into a town, for example, and there's a runner zombie, they look like they're, they're aggroed, so it can fool you into thinking that somebody's there. And heavy police, again, they've, they, again they've got more health and that they're normally wearing a ballistic vest. We won't go through the fixes, but we will go through changed. Changed. Adjust player damage zones, added shoulders and a small part of the legs to the torso. Reduce health damage taken by hits to the arms. Reduce shock damage taken by hits to the legs, so then you won't end up with broken legs. Arms are no longer protected by vests. Adjusted the position of sorting areas in the server browser to allow more space for text. Adjusted the width of the last player server info. Fireplaces break apart when thrown. Screwdrivers can now be used to cut bark. Pliers can now open cans. Fishing rods can be crafted from the sharpened long wooden stick. Removing a plant from a plot will require this slot to be watered and fertilized again. Matches cannot be used to light a fire when they aren't dry. It's logical. Armored vests now require more space in the inventory. Unconsciousness time is now modified by the caliper the player got hit with. So get hit with a bigger caliber bullet, you know, a bigger bullet. Um, you're going to be uh, going to go unconscious for longer, I guess. Saws last 60% longer when sawing planks. Good. Reduce the amount of shots needed to ruin a suppressor, depending on the suppressor and the caliber. The FX45 pistol is now more durable, allowing more shots before getting damaged. Connecting to a server where the player is currently disconnected from is no longer possible. I think that, that, that could be a duping thing. Reduce the weight of fireplace from 100 kilograms. Oh, that is heavy to 10. Magazines from den bodies can be directly attached to weapons. Players now spawn with half-used bandage dressings instead of rags. Ah. All infected attacks can now be blocked. Reduced infected melee attack speed by 25%. Rebalanced infected uh, hit points depending on tier and category. So low tier civilian lowered by 15%. Runner lowered by 15%. 50% soldier increased by 15%. So that this again, this is where, um, so we're saying, you know, normal zombies around the, the, the coast of Chernus, you know, your civilian zombies and around towns are 15% weaker. The runner, who's always running, is 50% is weaker, but the soldier zombies you come across have got 15%. Um, oh, sorry, that's hit points, isn't it? Oh, is it hit points or health points? Either. So, soldiers are dip more difficult to kill and will do you more damage, probably. Different infected now have different attack damage. All right, so it's health points. Different infected now have different attack damage and bleeding chance. Low tier and runner deal lower damage with low bleed chance. Regular civilian deal medium damage with medium bleeding chance. Firefighter, police, and soldier deal the highest damage with a high bleed chance. So, they, so there we go. So, that brings it around, doesn't it? So, civilian zombies have less health and do less damage. Um firefighters soldiers police have more health and do more damage reduce head melee armor for most infected by 40 percent oh that's good so it's going to be easier to to kill maybe we'll move back to the one shot kill with the axe we'll have to do some experimenting with me increase noise dampening to reduce better the hearing ability of infected through obstacles so they won't hear you when you're, you're on the other side of a building reduce range at which infected call for help by 82.5 percent except for military officer. Now that's very interesting that. So that is a massive nerf. So that when a when a zombie aggro's you know, you've got a bit less chance of being um mobbed by a load of zombies unless it's the military officer who is almost like a proper screamer now in in something like Left 4 Dead where you know they're gonna go and you're gonna get lots of zombies running towards you. Reduce range which infected here gunshots by ten percent. That's not much. Double the time between two calls for help pings generated by infected Military officers got their timing increased by 33%. So zombies, when they aggro, they're going to do that left off, less often. Crouch printing is now louder than crouch walk, but quieter than upright jog. So you want to be crouch walking. Reduce the range of critical awareness of soldier infected by 20%, may, making them easier to stealth on. So the soldiers have more health, soldier zombies have more health and do you more damage, but they're easier to creep up on. It is no longer possible to drink or force feed disinfectant or alcoholic tincture. Melee block is now directional. 
slightly more where I did the KA7445 round mag. Reduce armor value against health and shock damage on plate carrier. Reduce durability of the plate carrier. Slightly reduce the durability of the police vest. Increase repair kit consumption from the place carrier, plate carrier, press vest, and police vest. Epoxy putty can also be used to repair vests. Lowered the frequency of light symptoms of the wound infection. Lowered the frequency of fever blur effect. Lowered the strength of the radial blur effect on wound infection. Increased the health of the firefight axe to match other axes. Reduced the weight of the ghillie rifle wrap. Slightly reduced the dispersion of all non-magnifying scopes. Reduced the dispersion of from magnifying optics. M4A1 carry handle sights now can be zeroed at multiple lower values. Suppressors reduce recoil less. Suppressors now increase sway. Suppressors that reduce dispersion more. Buttstock and hangars now rebalance recoil and sway modifiers. Heavy attachments have lower recoil but cause more sway. So those those bottom things there, those bottom five points are incredibly important. And again, you need to go to Wobo's channel, W-O-B-O. He's done a video about this. Attachments now make a difference to the accuracy of your weapon. You know, it never used to make a difference. So what they say now is, you know, put a suppressor on your gun and it's going to and it's going to have less recoil, so you're going to have to control it in fast single fire or auto fire. However, it will sway more to start off with, so that will reduce accuracy. Buttstocks and handguards have rebalanced recoil and sway modifiers. So put a handguard on your gun, and I'd imagine that will reduce sway. Put a buttstock on, and it will reduce sway. And what they say at the bottom, so heavy attachments have lower recoil but cause more sway. So again, you need to watch Wobo's video to see what does what. So it depends what you're using the gun for. Are you using this gun in close quarters, fully automatic mode, in which case you're going to want to reduce recoil, but you're not that much bothered about sway. Whereas if you're using a weapon as a long distance sniper rifle, you're going to, you don't care about recoil because you're more about the one shot kill or the two shot kill to the head, but you're really bothered about sway because you want that and the first initial shot to be on target. Very fascinating. Central economy, spawning 25% fewer vehicle parts, um, weapon, weapons spawning with magazines will now have at least one bullet. Assault rifles spawn only with basic attachments. Fixed spawning values of the Pioneer rifle. Dirt bike helmets can now spawn with mouth guard and visor attached. Plate carrier vests are now only found on infected heavy soldiers and in a right and in a badly damaged state. See, these, this is balancing for these things because there was a lot of complaints about 113 on the test server or feedback anyway. The fact that the plate carrier was too powerful. But now you're only going to find them on zombies, and you've got to kill a killer heavy soldier zombie to get one. That is a really clever balance. KA-74 rifles are no longer counted in hoarder-type containers to match the newly added M16A2, so there's going to be more of them on the server. So they, again, I like this, because what, what, what Adam's doing and what the team are doing, they're pushing more rifles into the loot economy. So you, even on public servers, vanilla public servers, you're going to have more of a chance of finding a really nice assault rifle, like a KA-74 or an M16, which you can then use to kill these uh, these newly toughened zombies, especially soldier zombies. Adjust spawn points for shipping containers in the village church. Reduce random quantity for the vitamin bottle. And then we've got some server stuff. Launcher. Duh, duh, duh. And then we've got some, some other stuff so that we don't need to worry about. So there we go. Um, update 1.13. Going live as I record this video. It's an exciting one. I think it's taking DayZ in a very interesting direction. Um, zombies are now are going to be harder, but there's going to be more weapons. I hope the PvP people are happy with the way that they're balancing the vests. Um, and yeah, very exciting that Daisy is still being pushed forward by Adam and his admittedly very small team. But you know, they're they're trying their best to improve this game that we all love. What do you think though? Put your questions and comments in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will see you again soon.